Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest, most simplest way to get to Mexico and Guarma in Red Dead Online. This method literally works 100% of the time. So I've seen a couple of different methods uh, for getting into Guarma and Mexico and Red Dead Online that are very difficult, that have you like traversing a horse up a hill and it has to like slide forward and do this super awkward movement. And I've tried that and I have found it incredibly difficult and the success rate is usually not that great. However, with this method, you'll literally be able to do it 100% of the time. If someone like me can do it on the first try, you guys can do it on the first try. And what's great about Guarma and Mexico in Red Dead Online is you can fully explore them with your friends and other players, and it's a lot of fun. So the good thing about this is you're only going to need one simple item. The bad part about this is it's the hardest part of this entire thing. Now, what you're going to need to acquire today is a single seater horse wagon. Now, there's a lot of different wagons in Red Dead Online that the NPCs have that we currently don't have access to. There's like big buggies and carriages that will seat multiple people. There's sort of like two seater wagons that have almost like a pickup truck bed in the back. What we want to look for today is the single seater wagons. Now, you can find a lot of these in San Denis. However, that is incredibly far away. And the journey we need to go to today is just about in between the middle of Armadillo and Tumbleweed. And as you guys know, the distance between San Denis and Armadillo is a long way away, especially with a horse that is not yours and something that can easily break or, you know, it, you can't fast travel either. So it's going to take you a long, long time. So the best place that I would recommend to go to find something like this is in Strawberry. Now, honestly, what I would recommend doing is just hopping to different lobbies until you can find one of these. And you'll typically just see the NPCs riding them into town. And the wagons come in a couple different variations, shapes, and sizes, but all of them are a single seater only, and they'll usually have like a little storage container on the back. And this is what you actually need. And once you've acquired something like this, you're going to want to make the long journey in between the middle of Tumbleweed and Armadillo. You're essentially looking for this spot very close to Chola Springs. It's this hill towards the edge of the map. Now, a couple words of advice. Be careful with these wagons. They are not indestructible. So, for example, if you run it over a rock or if someone starts shooting at you, there's a good chance that the wagon might break down, the horse could easily die, and if you do so, you have to make the long journey back to either Sand Denis or Strawberry to get another one. Trust me, that happened to me on this journey. I was actually you know, riding or driving to this location, and I got hit with a random ambush, and they destroyed the wagon. I was furious. I wanted to give up right then and there, but I took a little bit of a break. I came back. I got this wagon that you see right here, and once you're at this location, it's so easy. Basically, what you want to do is you just want to, I guess, drive or ride up this hill. And if you do that successfully, you should be able to get straight through the map. Now, as you notice, when I got to the top, I ended up falling off, but all I had to do was get back on and I was able to drive right through. And right now, I don't know where I technically am. I'm certainly not in Mexico. I'm just outside of the map, but you can actually journey to Mexico pretty easily. So in order to do this, you're going to want to head west, and from there, you're going to want to go all the way around the Sea of Coronado, basically to the south of the San Luis River. Now, while you're outside of the map, it's actually really cool, and it almost makes me think that Rockstar was going to utilize more of this area because there's foliage out here, there's trees, there's animals, there's horses that actually spawn out here, which is incredibly cool. So if you wanted to do some hunting out here, that's something that you could do as well. But long story short, you basically just wanna make your way all the way down until you're actually in Mexico. Now, a couple words of advice here, and this is something that I wish I had done a little bit earlier. Try not to go as far inland as me, especially if you want to eventually explore Guarma. 
So what will happen is if you explore too far inward in Mexico, you'll actually get sort of stuck in this valley, which is fine. You get to explore a lot of Mexico, but you'll never be able to make it to Guarma. If you want to make it to Guarma, you want to go down way further south where the map really isn't loaded and instead is just like a flat plain. I was sort of traversing in the area that still had a lot of life and uh, that was pretty cool. Now, one mistake I ended up making here, and if you use this method, this is something you're going to want to watch out for. If you crash your wagon, you're in a world of hurt. Now, the reason for this is if you crash, there's a good chance that the horse on the wagon might die too. And if that's the case, you won't have any option of transportation because calling your horse will not work. So I will say that is like the one downside to this potentially is that you won't have your own horse here and they won't be able to come with you. Whereas with the other method, you will have your horse. So there's a little bit of a trade-off, but this method is so much easier that I think it works even better. So you can sort of see the trouble that I was in right here. So we are officially in Mexico right now though, and you're free to explore and really do whatever you want. Now, for the most part, Mexico is pretty barren. Rockstar haven't actually added a lot here. In fact, the only like structure that exists is El Presidio, which is located in Mexico, and you can actually visit it. It's very low resolution and detail, but at least it is something that they've added. And this is something I think Rockstar will implement going forward in the future. Like I can almost guarantee you if there is a single player or a story mode expansion that some missions in Mexico are going to happen. I mean, it just makes sense. Uh, it's there. It's super free for us to explore. And I think that would be a really neat addition to the game. Now, if you want to explore Guarma, I actually messed up here as I explained earlier earlier. So if you want to explore Guarma, what you have to do is go to the far southeastern side of the map. And if you're able to do that, you should eventually reach the end of the map where you'll basically just jump off, you'll fall into the water, and once you've done that, you'll spawn on the island of Guarma. However, as you guys can kind of see here, I basically trapped myself inside of Mexico, which obviously is not good. I wanted to try and get to Guarma, but I trapped myself inside. Nothing that I could do there. And exploring Guarma is pretty cool because there's a lot of rare animals that you can find there uh, so that you can update your compendium. Now, obviously you can't keep them because there's not like a butcher or a trapper or anything like that on Guarma, at least in uh, Red Dead Online. But it is a really cool area to explore because the biome and the environment is totally different from what we experience in the main map of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's tropical, it's got unique island-like animals, and it's a really cool vibe. So I did want to try something to see if I could actually fix getting stuck in this sort of valley in Mexico. So I ended up trying to respawn. And unfortunately, that did not work. It actually put me back onto the mainland, I think either near Armadillo or the McFarlane Ranch. So if you get stuck like me, respawning is not the way to go about doing it. It will send you back to the mainland. But lucky enough, if you do mess up like myself, the way to get back to Mexico and Guarma is super easy. Now, a couple of things to note here. Number one, if you do want to explore this with friends or other posse members, I would recommend doing this sooner rather than later. Rockstar has promised that new updates will be coming out in 2019, and you can almost guarantee you that they will fix something like this to prevent going from Mexico to Guarma. So take advantage of this while you can. Also, try not to get frustrated. There was one time that happened to me where I was on my way with one of the wagons and I got disconnected from the server. That's super frustrating, but there's obviously nothing you can do about that. And also number three, I would try and do this in a less populated server or at least do it with a posse because if you get attacked on one of those wagons, you're pretty much defenseless. And it's really unfortunate if someone ultimately goes and griefs you while you're trying to do this. But anyways, that right there is how you can get to Mexico and Guarma in Red Dead Online. This is the easiest method that I know. It works 100% of the time. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if this is something that I can do, this is something that you guys can easily do, like 100% of the time. 
So anyways, I thought this was pretty awesome. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below though. Would you like to see a Mexico or Guarma expansion for either Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode or Red Dead Online? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.